Kitengela on July 16, 2024. Charles Owino was shot on Kitengela streets. Protesters gathered to witness the abrupt end to his life. Shaquille Ramsfield Obienge present, wearing short pants, a black jacket and a hat that obscured his face. A few minutes later, unmarked Subaru vehicles arrived. Obienge was shot and died on the spot. Officers are seen collecting the spent shells from their fired shots. The bodies would later be taken to the city mortuary. <laughs> but they were registered as accident victims with no details on the location or vehicles involved. <laughs> the entries were listed as unknown persons. When the family arrived from Kitengela, they positively identified their son. Citizen TV has established that a police vehicle typed GK with registration number 321G was used to transport Shaquille Ramsfield Obienge's body and that of Charles Owino. The officers involved have been identified as Constable Mwangi, squad number 92343, and Constable Kimayo, squad number 75343, though their actual work numbers are yet to be confirmed. <laughs> Returning to Kitengela crime scene, we found a picture of Shaquille Ramsfield Obienge at the moment of his death. The hat he wore during the protest was also found at the scene, along with visible bullet marks. I'm very much surprised. Um, I've seen the name unknown, number one. Surprised me. Maybe he didn't have the ID because I got the ID in the house. So maybe the right is unknown. But you cannot say unknown as a police officer, yet you know very well that person was killed in Kitengela around Eastmart Rubies. As the nation grapples with this tragedy, questions remain about how many deaths at the hands of police officers have been misrepresented in various mortuaries across the country to maintain anonymity.